now that we're doing our templating with mustache um, let's actually put it in the format that we were going after for in the beginning anyway so uh, looking back at what I played around with from the filament groups um, example this table is really all I need for um, for my particular graph so now the template doesn't actually create this whole functionality it's not intended to do that it's it's only going to create it's only putting in the uh, I guess I need the ID and the value right so if I go back here it really seems the only thing I need to template to iterate over is um, this line over here the table row so I'm gonna take this I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna bring it into my template over here and I'm just gonna paste it right in there we go so now instead of having Mary as the table row I'm gonna have the ID and instead of having the number over here I'm gonna have shares I'm going to erase that whole H1. So now I changed my template like so. Now this is the only part of the template that I'm going to put into mustache style because when you look at it this is the one that's going to have the four values that I'm referencing. So let me save that. Now let me give this guy a refresh. Now look at that. Whether you know it or not this is in, in a table. Now, of course, you could look at that if you're using a web developer. You can look at a, a table information. Let's see, table information. Okay, it's acting a little funky on me. Let's see, tab table information. Okay, well, it doesn't want to work. Well, then I move on to Firebug, and if I open up Firebug, I could at least look at the HTML and then oh, there you have it if I start opening that up um, let's see what I have in my body over here yep I have table rows anyway alright well that's not a complete table but we're we're almost there let me take some of the uh, other content I'm gonna take in now I'm gonna take the rest of this code and bring it all the way down here so essentially I'm copying the opening table declaration, the caption, everything in between the table head and the beginning T body. And I'm going to bring that back to my code and just pop it right underneath, right underneath, by the way, this div container we, for sample area. We're going to, and eventually, in about a second, we're going to get rid of this, but I don't want to do too many things at once. So here we ha here we go. We have everything we need. The other thing I want to do at this point is I'm going to terminate the table body, and then I'm going to terminate table itself. So now this is a whole little enclosed table ready to go. Now really the only thing this table is missing are these table rows inside a table body. Well, if you consider our code up here, we're actually appending the JSON formatted data to this div container, sample area. But we're not saying it's a div container specifically, we're just saying it's the ID called sample area. So I could just take out this ID equals sample area and I'm going to put it in the T body because that's where we're going to add everything inside of it. Let me delete the div containers and I'll save it and let's cross our fingers and hope this works. Bam! Beautiful. So now we have our caption, we have our rows with the data, and then we also have our table heading, which is not rocks, it should be shares. All right. So so far, so good. We have a table.